be my opponents with respect. You'll be surprised what opens up to you. A lovely fellow once told me the fastest way to anyone's heart is through their stomach. <clears throat> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story, one I know you haven't heard before. When I was a much younger lad, before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I had seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. It is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. After gracefully rappelling down the cliff, I welcomed the sight of an actual road, the first sign of civilization. I could have sworn the parade of hopeful knights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. It seemed my first few minutes at Daventry were off to a terrible start. So, how did you catch up with them? That odd horn seemed to be missing some sort of mouthpiece. Strange tracks blazed a trail through the forest. That wheel seemed freshly broken. Stand back, you dirty thieves! Wah! Oh, it's just a boy. Don't know where he's from, but it must be hard to pronounce. You know, you should never sneak up on a guy in a dangerous place like... No! Oh! What's wrong with your foot? Probably stepped on a spiniferous thornweed. Don't worry, I got just the fix for that. <laughs> Tell me, is it more of a... Oh! Or a... Oh, oh, oh! Either way, the Merchant of Miracles has got you covered. But it'll cost you. I've risked my neck to forge the most rare, miraculous, mysterious, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Ah, huh, here it is. 
I massage this into my skin twice a day and just look at my little biscuits. <clears throat> well, now that I've molded over, you'd better not. It might stunt your growth. Ooh, such exquisite material. Hey. Mm -hmm. I knew you weren't from around here. Well, you best get going. Yeah. Nobody likes a late night. Oh, wait, you're stuck here with me. Every virgin is out. And my shortcut had a few shortcomings. I swear that rock leaped straight out of the water. Now I'm stuck here with no wheel, a lost toolbox, and Mr. Fancy Cakes. Say, what? I'll bet a fine strapping young man like you could help me fix up this wheel. Yep, you help me fix my chariot, and I'll give you a lift to the tournament. Hopefully no one else notices your horrible lack of punctuality. Oh, how rude. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, nope. Perhaps there was a wheel on the other side of that river. Too bad I couldn't swim. How did you get across that river? Perhaps there was a wheel on the other side of that river. Too bad I couldn't swim. How did you get across that river? Just a little oop here, a little elbow grease there, and start! The wheel was very broken. I would have to find another solution. I wondered what those birds needed a toolbox for. Shame. The only two left seemed to be a small hatchet. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. The wheel was very broken. I would have to find another solution. Ooh, I'm a rock! No, I'm not! Uh, enjoy your broken wheel! That missing wheel had me stumped. I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. Ugh, Grandpa, your infamous puns are not my favorite. What's the matter? You don't like the timbre of my voice? You'll warm up to the puns. These are terrible. Kitty, kitty, not a kitty, not a kitty! Hmm. No wheels are there. An overgrown patch 
the spiniferous thorn weeds obstructed a path to the water well. The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. Seems like a waste of money. And then you chopped down that door, found a wheel, and headed for the tournament. No, Gwendolyn. Just because I had a hatchet didn't mean I went around using it on everything. It's not that type of story. Seems like a waste of money. Why would you walk into a patch of spiniferous thorn wheat? Well, uh, <clears throat> I didn't. I thought about it for a while, though. I was thirsty. I tried to chop down those thorn weeds, but my tiny hatchet was ineffective. I would need a bigger, sharper blade. Do I really have to hear the story about how you took forever to tiptoe across that fallen tree again? No, I guess not. Find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. If we just move this over to the left, right there a little more and...
Grandpa, you can't leave Triumph. Don't worry, Triumph can fend for himself. We've been through our share of sticky situations, but he always comes around when I need him most. After all that graceful repelling, I was certainly not headed back that way. The horn was broken, but that didn't stop me from blowing on it. There was no reason to chop down that perfectly good tree. The wheel was already broken. No sense rubbing it in. go. No, I did not use the hatchet to scare that growling animal. Square was eerily quiet. Was I the only person in Daventry not at the parade? A bakery, and it smelled delicious. The delectable goods looked tasty, but I couldn't compete in this tournament with a full stomach. I didn't see any reason why that stale bread wouldn't work for a wheel.
Ah, a shortcut. Give me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. I thought this might do the trick. Mm, lovely choice, boy. And thank the Yarble Snoops this bread is beyond stale. Hopefully it didn't pay too much. You have a face that just screams overcharged. I've got just a fix for that, too. But we have important tournament business to tend to, and I think this'll do the trick. Ooh, I'll just need to start locking my unicorns up at night. Mr. Fancy Cakes has a nibbling problem. All right, off we go. Oh, wait, before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are you interested? Oh, sounds good. I love a deal. <laughs> so do I, boy, so do I. If I see one, I'll let you know. Here you are. Now, let's Vamanusi from this Meadowland, Mr. Fancy Cakes. It is go time. <laughs> Mr. Fancy Cakes! Ah, heal! Halt! Abyss! Stop! <laughs> We sincerely hope you enjoyed your stay in our luxury cabin. Please gather your belongings and watch your head on exit. Hey, th thanks for the hospitality. No time to lounge, my boy. Lucky for you, the parade is halted. Another case of a mysterious missing bridge, I imagine. Watch your step. We wouldn't want any tears in that illustrious cape. Bon voyage, buttercup. Don't forget about us working folk. Especially when your pockets are full of riches. Back away, back away. This area is unsafe for commoners. Hello. Uh, apologies, I'm late. Uh, I should be on the list. First name Graham, last name... The list, unfortunately, is inside the theater, which is across that bridge, which is inexplicably missing. We've ordered a temporary fix, but we're still sorting out the work order. Well, with all the recent budget issues, I remain skeptical about the repairs. Well, can't those knights check the list? Do you mean Kyle and Larry? They're off duty. Don't ask. You needn't worry. These knight hopefuls will figure out a solution soon, and then we can carry on with the auditions. Well, but I am a hopeful knight. If you just step aside, I'm confident that I can find a way across. Ahem. <laughs> Daventry Decree 6645 states that a royal guard, once commanded, must never, under no circumstances, abandon his post while on duty. Well, technically, Addendum 237A allows us to leave if someone is in distress and in need of assistance of a life or death nature. I stand corrected, and we wouldn't want a repeat of the Rubenstern fiasco. A tardy auditionee, however, hardly counts for distress. Sorry, but we can't leave our post. King's orders. The forest is blocked until this situation is under control. Come at me, bees! Stay back. Very important protection duties in process. So, uh, what was that addendum again? Addendum 237A states that a royal guard can only leave his post if someone is in distress and is in need of assistance. Stay 
Stay off those rocks. It's dangerous. Distress! Abandoned post! Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe he was talking to me. <laughs> this robe will protect you from that mi- Whilst your cape is drying, why don't you take some time to reflect on your life's decisions? And then you chop down the tree full of angry bees? Enough, Gwendolyn. Stay off those rocks. It's dangerous. Distress! Abandoned post! Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking... Don't be rude, boy. We are in the middle of an important conversation. He was talking to me. I believe... <laughs> Stay off those rocks. It's dangerous. Distress! Abandoned post! Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe he was to- This tired argument is getting on my nerves. No need to argue about the fact that I am- Uh-oh. Uh oh. oh dear. Not good. Mind if I join your semicircle? Let us big kids figure this one out. <coughs> your hero is thinking. Well, I know the answer, but I want to see how all of you will solve it. Another horn, and another missing piece. You look like a little man who wants to do big things. I wasn't going to toot that horn anymore until I found the missing piece. Well, I did, but in silence. Uh... <laughs>